Welcome back to another edition of Queenie Connection. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, coming up on this episode, all sorts of things specifically Belleville related. Update as well about the pedestrian bridge that's happening with the new construction. But joining us now is Ian McKendry, a local artist. As we've been flipping through Instagram, we've been seeing some beautiful photos that Ian's done throughout the pandemic, oil paintings, and he joins us now. So Ian, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. Oh, thanks. Thanks for having me. Nice to be here. So it's great to really, you know, see Belleville through a different lens. We've been scrolling through. There's lots of scenes from farm fields in Prince Edward County to right downtown here in Belleville. A beautiful picture of the Moira River as well. So how did you get involved with painting, especially this area on the road? Well, thanks. Um, I've been painting outside um, since I was about 13. I actually have the painting I did in Algonquin Park when I was 13. So. Um, and I've been uh, just sort of fascinated with that idea of painting outside. And uh, as a young, you know, kid, for some reason, I just really connected with the group of seven and Tom Thompson and this idea of painting outside. I later later found out it's called plain air painting, but I, I still refer to it as painting outside myself. But um, so then, you know, just painting this area, not being from here, uh, it's it's a really good way to sort of explore the area and look for little 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 areas that you hadn't noticed before or areas that you might want to draw attention to and a good chance to just kind of get out and especially with with the pandemic now it's it's a very solitary adventure so it's certainly um, easy to do but it's just a good way for me to sort of connect to the area and look for things and places that i think um you know you can bring to other people through through art yeah, so typically done in oil. Why oil for you, especially with an 8x10? That's a good question. Um, I, I really like oil just because of how the paint handles. Uh, I have a sketch box set up too, so I can have, it doesn't dry quickly. Uh, acrylic paint dries quickly, and I don't, and so I preload my palette down here and, and have a canvas in there so I can actually close the box and the paint doesn't touch the canvas. So. Um, oil paint doesn't dry quickly, so I'm allowed to, I can transport the paint already on the palette, which is really great for oil. I have used acrylic in some situations where um, it's just easier because it's water soluble, but for, for painting locally with either my bike or my car, oil paint is kind of my preferred one because I can keep the paint on the palette without it drying out, which makes it much more portable. Yeah, so you mentioned traveling on the bike these days, so whereabouts have you been lately? <laughs> Oh, um, well, as it gets warmer, we're hoping to expand the radius outside of Belleville, but, you know, mostly around Belleville, it's a great way to, to you can also sort of explore and get a sense of things on a bike or by foot that, that a car doesn't necessarily allow for, and especially in a city, you know, downtown Belleville, there's lots of uh, alleys and places where you can get perspectives and vantage points that, that maybe a car would, wouldn't so much afford. I mean, there's, there's practical reasons for having a car like in Prince Edward County just to get around. But I find um, just being able to take everything on my bike offers a certain freedom and I get exercise and it's just a great way to get a sense of where I'm going and, and kind of follow my muse, so to speak. Where are you from originally? Grew up in Ottawa, actually, originally from there. And I've lived in Peterborough and Vancouver, but I uh, moved to Belleville around 12, 12, 13, 14 years ago, somewhere in, in, that, in there and uh, been here ever since. So Ian, the one neat thing with Instagram, especially with the lockdown, is we've been really seeing different people promote different things. So with you, I mean, what's the reaction been like from locals, especially as you've been posting all these different uh, pieces of art? Oh, it's been really, really positive. I think people like seeing their city and their area, you know, represented in art. And the types of paintings I do, sort of what I'm aiming to capture from these outdoor paintings, is kind of a moment, you know, like a, an atmosphere or a vibe that isn't necessarily the same as like a photographic representation of, of what I'm painting, but certainly capturing the mood or the atmosphere of the weather. The paintings are done fairly quick because working outside, light's changing so quickly and the atmosphere is changing so quickly. So I think the, recept the reaction online has been great because people have just enjoyed, I think, being stuck at home and seeing little paintings from areas that they might remember from not just now, but their childhood. Or, you know, I've painted certain conservation areas that people used to go to and they kind of are attracted to the paintings because they sort of trigger, you know, a positive memory. And I think that's what's so great about art and and photography, too. But I mean, for, for paintings, it's, it's not only just the visual representation, but it's what it triggers also in the person looking at it and the memories that it brings. So I think some people that have 
you know, bought, bought some of the paintings or like some of the paintings, it's because some of the places in Babel I've chosen to, to capture just kind of resonate and might be places that are familiar to people, but you wouldn't necessarily be your first choice to paint. Um, you know, certain, especially down on the tracks, there's a big yellow building that I, that um, I think it used to be like the Purell, like some kind of feed building or it's, it's, do you know the yellow building I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Like that, that to me is always from just moving here, been a really distinctive building when you're walking in that part. And so choosing to paint things like that might be, might not initially be the obvious choice compared to say, you know, the waterfront or city hall, but I think everybody has those areas. You know, I painted Cooney's Cooney auto sales and a lot of people really like that because you drive by that every day in that part of Belleville, but you don't get out of your car at that intersection and take a picture of it or, or necessarily um, think about it, but to see it in a painting then kind of brings you back to that space in Belleville. And, and I think that's kind of my goal is just to explore some areas uh, around here and hopefully capture something that, that resonates uh, with myself and then hopefully resonates with other people. Throughout this time with the pandemic, has your perception about Belleville changed now that you've stopped and really focused it on specific landmarks? Yeah, I, I think about that a lot, actually, especially not originally being from here and growing up in Ottawa. Um, and I think, you know, you know, it does because there's been some cool moments going out painting, especially on my bike and stuff, where at times there was a lot less traffic and people around. And so it kind of created in itself this cool sort of atmospheric city where things were a little, you know, everyone's staying home. So going out to get exercise on my bike, you can sort of appreciate some of the ambience that was created. But, you know, certainly um, during the pandemic, just, yeah, getting getting to know the city in a different way. And where when I grew up in Ottawa, you know, I was very much a child of the bicycle and public transportation and walking. So I really had a good mental map of all the little nooks and crannies. And I've just enjoyed exploring Belleville in kind of the same way and looking for some parts of the city that I hadn't checked out yet or, or you know, and bikes are really great for um, for that. We have a great network of bike shops in, in Belleville too. Belleville has so many awesome uh, bike shops, even just downtown. So it's really a great way to get around. And I think certainly connecting with the local environment through art is a great way to sort of appreciate and show, sh showcase too, you know, what, what we have to offer around here. Because certainly, I think a lot of the lifestyle in Belleville during the pandemic has appealed to people that maybe wanted a city that still offered a lot of the amenities of a city, but also offers really good access to nature. Like it's a very beautiful area with the Bay of Quinty and sort of the, the rolling open landscape that we have is a really a big asset, I think, just for for that. And I hope the city, you know, and people living here preserve, you know, the, the beautiful area that we have. Yeah, well, thanks so much, Ian, for reminding us what we do have here in Belleville and bringing us a different perspective. For folks who wish to visit your Instagram page, where specifically can we go? What's your handle? My handle is at McKendry Art. All right, fantastic. And we'll have that up below as well. Uh, once again, Ian McKendry, a local artist here in Belleville, wishing you well. And thanks so much for continuing to share these fantastic different takes on buildings that we travel past all the time. Thank you so much. Well, thanks for having me and uh, I look forward to, to getting out there and painting some more.